Okay, so I want to create a form that allows my clients to upload images because what we want to do is create a really simple way for them to create websites. So um, sometimes them emailing all the images and logos, it can get all confusing because it's all, you know, a mess in the inbox. So what I want to do is create a central form where we can take them through the process, a checklist of what they need, gather it all together, and then it's like click of the button, let's create your site. So that's why I'm, I'm doing this. So I was looking for solutions to allow people to upload images and documents and things to a word to a form so i've come across this which is formpl.us so form plus with a dot between the l and the in the u um so i'm going to show you uh live uh, me setting up in case you could do with a form which allows your clients and customers or potential customers to send you things via a form okay so um you go to the website and then log in with your google account Log in. Okay, yeah, allow. And allow. Okay, so here's the form. So it's automatically, it's in there. It's logged into my uh, Google Mail. So um, what we're going to do now is create a form. So I'm going to change the name here. So just clicking there has brought this up. So website set up form. Okay, and then I'm going to add. So let's put um, in here. So you just drag and drop. So you find the type of um, for the uh, entry on the form that you want and then you just drag and drop it over so I'm liking this already so text input so here the text label <coughs> say uh, your domain name and the placeholder text is this here so www.mydomain.com and then then um, oh, enter your URL or domain name, okay, and it is required, which means that anyone filling this form has to put that in. There we go. Um, so yeah, there's loads of different uh, options here. So I'm going to carry on and fill in all my um, form things, and then I'm going to come back to you. Yeah, I've added some in here, so asking for units, usernames, passwords, and any text that they would like on their holding page. So now I want, this is why I'm not just doing it in normal Google Forms, because you can't have a file upload, and I want them to be able to send me um, their logo. So I'm just going to click on this, and it adds it, or you can drag and drop it. So click on there, so I want this to be your logo, and it's required. And then they can upload their logo. Um, <clears throat> And maybe we can put also a photo. Okay, so I'm going to carry on filling in. But this is this is really simple to create a form that allows you to upload um, images. To show you, if you want to move things around, so this is in say the wrong area. I just drag and drop it. To rearrange everything around the form so really really liking this okay so if you've put some things in that you don't want because I want to make this form really easy so I was going to ask for more information but actually the more information that I add the less the, the harder it's going to be for them to get their site set up as quickly as I want them to so I'm just going to drag so you hold it and then just drag it off okay so hold it and then drag it off Hold it until it comes up, and then so that's all you do to remove something that you don't want there. So I'm just adding some um, structure to it. So on the structure tab, you can either have a page break, or what I'm doing is I'm just putting a heading towards. So I've got um, here, I'm allowing people to um, request the email address. So just drag and drop it over, and then just do um, okay. So you can see in this really simple form what I've done. So when someone wants to set up a website with us, they register the domain name, they just let us know their login details or where the domain name is so that we can link up their domain name with our 
our website. Um, some text to put on their holding page so it goes live as soon as possible with a little bit of text while it's being worked on so it just starts to get into the Google, um, uh, you know, gets picked up by Google. Their logo so that we can integrate that into the site as well and then their email address. So when someone joins, they want their website set up, then they just fill in this form and, and we'll have the, the images. Now what we can do is at each stage of the process, we can have a simple form which allows them to add in the different things. So really loving this so far. Now this is completely free from what I can see, as long as you don't have more than something like 14 form forms filled in every month um, and then if you get more I think you can upgrade to something like seven dollars a month and then you can have like a hundred so it, it's it's quite quite reasonable and definitely definitely liking it so far okay so what I just did at the bottom of the form there was a little create form button there so I pressed that button and that's led me onto this form so um, it looks like you can have form options so email notification so upon submission um, I could have it email me when a form has been submitted or I can have it off or I can get a daily summary depending on what you're using the form of um, for and you can obviously set a submission deadline there you can share this form here which is really nice actually so I can just copy that or I can embed it I can embed it into my website so um, if I click that option I've just got that code which I copy and paste over to my WordPress website or wherever and that will embed it in so yeah so far really loving it so if you wanted to embed it into your website I've created a new website setup form link and what you want to do is um, <clears throat> on your form click iframe copy and paste this into your WordPress. Now make sure your text tab is clicked here. Paste that. If you click visual, you'll see that it's embedded in there and then I'm going to publish. Now obviously what I can do above this is add in a little bit of text to explain what this form is for. Okay. So then what I can do is if I want to view the page, there we go. So here it is. So it's got the branding on, but that's okay. And um, here's the form. So what I might want to do is because mine's a longer form, it's cutting it off here. So if we go back to the text, we will see the height. So you can see here on the text, if you're ever embedding anything, you will have an, it's called an iframe, and it's using up 100% of the width available, and the height, it's linked to 600. So let's just uh, put that to 800. Let's put that to 1,000 and see, okay? Update it. Okay, so that's updated. So let's refresh this page. And you'll see it's longer. So it's not, I don't, oh, there we go. So it's submit. So it still just needs to be that little bit longer. So if I go back to my page, and let's make it uh, 1,200, so update. So you don't want it too long, but you want it to be long enough to include your form. And there we go. So it's added in the capacha there just to stop the spam. So um, I'm going to try and fill this in now. So in 
dummy. I'm going to put in an image. So this is where it, let's just add in a screenshot. I have no idea what that is. First time I've ever used this form, so uh, we're just loading. Okay, it's uploaded. And I want hello at my domain.com. Okay. And then I'm going to put in the capture and then submit. So checking to see if your submission, submission was successful. Okay. So um, I'm just going to go and find that and show you where you can see them. Okay. So, um, if you want to see your form, it uh, is you need to go to the Form Plus. It's not actually, it doesn't become a Google Form. So I just looked and I was hoping it would become a Google Form so you can do it within Google. So you do need to log into Form Plus, but that's not the end of the world. Um, so you click on My Forms here and you'll see the list of your forms. You can see I've had one response, which is what I've just done. So you can manage it here to, if you want to change notification settings and everything. So hopefully, if you set it right, you'll get an email to say that someone's filled in your form. And then if you view the spreadsheet, um, you'll see here, look, here's all the information that I filled in. Now, the great thing here is that um, if you click on here, it links to, and obviously this isn't a logo, it's just a screenshot that I uploaded, but you can see how easy it is. It keeps it all together. So it is in a Google Doc, look, it is filling it into a Google um a Google Doc actually so that probably will be in my Google account so that will be great I can log in and anytime anyone fills a form I can see all the websites that need to set um, need to set up so this is going to be really really easy to help me manage new website setups um, so that we can get it done really effectively but you could use this in you know if you did personalized gifts people can fill in the personalization upload uh, images um, any type of support they could send you screenshots if they're having issues with something whenever you need anyone to send you an image um, so I work in the keepsake industry so if someone needs to send you their handprint you can use this to sort of um, the personalization any information their email address their phone number and their handprint you know there, there really is um, maybe you want um, signed documents to say that they've done something so they can take a picture of the document with their signature on and then upload a screenshot or a photograph to this and you'll have it you know all linked together and then it's using the google storage which is really affordable um, i think it's free up to you get loads free i've gone past that and i've got to pay a small monthly fee now um, but it's all it's all linked in there which is great so that's in there so there's the image and um, I can save the image as and then download it onto my own computer if I want to work with it. So that is how you set up a form on your website to allow people to send you documents or images or screenshots.